Hey guys, I'm your girl Jenny Beauty Reviews. Welcome to my channel. You will find lots of beauty unboxings, honest beauty reviews, tutorials. I take you guys shopping with me. Um, I do lots of giveaways and other fun beauty content. If you like that kind of deal, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It's down below. You can't miss it. So click that. I'm doing a fall inspired look. If you like these kinds of videos, give it a huge thumbs up. And I'm having coffee and donuts. So if you have a snack or your coffee or if you're eating or munching on some vegetables, bring those along on this ride, honey. I'm going to be testing out a few new things and other things that I am enjoying so far. My Murad Essential Day Moisturizer. This is SPF of 30. This is Bra Spectrum SPF 30. I love the scent. I love how moisturizing it is. And it does not leave the white cast on the skin. So I pumped some on my hands. So now we're going to go ahead and put it all over. This is really amazing if you have dry sensitive skin. Because it is a little bit fragranced with the vitamin C. It does not irritate my skin whatsoever and I feel that if you have this on the skin, it won't irritate you either. I think it will irritate you if you have acne or some healing going on on the face, whether it be pores that you got extracted or whatever the case may be. It may possibly sting a little if you have that going on on your face. Um, but essentially it's really nice for the day and this one is the hydrating eye cream with avocado from milani and we're gonna apply some of this today i've been in dire need of eye cream so i'm just going to put a little bit that feels so amazing we're gonna go in with brows and i have my AOA Studio Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. We're going to spoolie first a little. I have such mammoth eyebrows and I have not been able to get them plucked. So excuse my fluffiness. I literally look like woolly mammoth. And we're going to go ahead and trace over and fill them in a little. Let's go ahead and prime the eyelids with concealer. I love using concealer. It's the best way that I feel that it really cancels out my darkness. I have dark pigmented eyelids. I have veins. And I just love, love, love using concealer. It also helps for the eyeshadows to pop. Or if you have like metallics, glitteries, um, stuff like that. It really does help it pop. We're going to use my Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Concealer. The shade I have is Frappuccino. And this formula... Is chef's kiss literally i love its shade and the applicator is so unique it has that metal applicator and it just gives the perfect amount each time without having to double back and get in to more of course if you want more you can absolutely do that for you but this right here is so cooling on the skin i just love 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 the cool freshness and the shade is a great match to me um i'm loving this so much so far and i do believe i have a referral link with them i'll leave it down below in my description box i will just get like probably points or you know points or something like that i'm not affiliated but one day hopefully you know We're gonna go in with the Wide Awake Collection Translucent Setting Powder from Dominique Cosmetics. We're gonna grab some of that translucent powder and we're gonna go right over to set that concealer. ready for some application of eyeshadow so i'm gonna use my color pop um this is on the mango palette and i'm gonna use some of these shades in here um together with 
this beautiful gloss i typically always do this to myself i always bring a bunch of products because i'm a libra and i'm indecisive and then i decide like when i'm when i'm being indecisive i then decide to just grab everything <laughs> and put it all on and use it I'm Use Cosmetics. It's found on shopmissa.com. I also have a referral link for Shop Miss A. Um, as I love their products, like they're so amazingly affordable, the great quality, and definitely for its buck, it's a dollar eighty-eight, guys. A dollar and some change um, is what's the cost of each product here. So we're gonna put some of this in the crease. Let's go ahead and start that off. I'm going to ignore this top shade over here, but we're going to use this one and we're going to grab this small detailed brush right here. This is from Unit. This is the Unit 310 and it's just really fine. I want to call this a pencil brush. I don't know exactly the name of it, but we're going to just grab some of this in here. We're going to tap it in. Kind of make a little arch if you can see so you want to start from the outer point of your eye um if that if you feel comfortable if not then you can just stay within the means of your eye the means of your eye is from here to here just like that and mind you i'm putting this a little bit above the crease i i tend to put that above the crease just a little bit because when I'm looking straight forward at you, you can literally see it's right there and it looks like it's inside my crease, but it's not. That's the trick for hooded eyes, guys. So, or if you have like smaller eyes, you want to do it like on top of that. You know what I mean? Like where that crease is. So, yeah. And I just, I want to kind of blend this in a little. And that's okay if it goes a little bit higher to your brow. That's totally fine. Sometimes I get a wipe or concealer or Vaseline with a little Q-tip or with the tip of my nail and just clean that out. Um, we're putting blush in the crease, okay? I'm so sorry, I just noticed the back of it. Um, this is the Amuse Blush and Glow number six palette. With this shade right here in the corner and I'm going to go over that blush and really deepen that up a little bit. So again, you just wanna lightly press right there and it gets so much pigmented color on there like it's just so pretty and we're gonna do like I said and we're gonna go ahead and kind of go over that if you want to clean your brushes in between shadows I can suggest this one from AOA Studios. This is the A Plus Brush Cleaner. This is rose scented and it's like a really good way to clean your brushes and spot clean them. So we're just going to grab a little paper towel and it'll just clean off all those shadows. This one right here is from BH Cosmetics and this is the number 10. And with this one, we're going to grab this real pretty tangerine. And we're going to dip that in there. And we're going to put that shade right next to the V. It picks up so nice with my finger. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And it looks so gorgeous. I'm loving this. Now we're going to go in with the eye gloss. And yeah, this is super pigmented. excited i got it in a mystery box like do you guys see how pretty this is we're gonna grab a wipey and i'm going to go under my eyelids and clean out fallout and make a nice sharp line right there and i always try to do it in an angle going upwards a little bit just to give it more of a elongated cat eye if you will um so yeah i'm just taking off the excess of fallout and surprisingly although this glossy has the eye gloss has a little bit of shimmer and glitter in it this glitter is not falling off there's no fallout to it and it's really creamy texture so i highly suggest you use your fingertips but if you have a nice soft brush that will go ahead and pick that up 
use that that's fine that way you're more um precise of where you place it aoa studios gel liner and the shade black and we're just going to go ahead and put this on the bottom and top waterline so now we're going to go into eyelashes and mascara for mascara i have the one size fantasize mascara and i'm loving this so so much the shade i have is bodacious black and yes you guys this is such an amazing formula i love the wand and it just gives beautiful volume to my lashes my lashes are by themselves so straight and boring and they don't they don't hold a curl they don't hold volume or length and this mascara right here definitely helps my lashes to be lift and nicely presented and it's almost like if your boobies are touching your belly button and you need that real good bra this is this is the bra for your lashes <laughs> this is the perfect mascara to hold up your lashes baby you want your boobies up here you need a good bra you want your lashes up here you need a good mascara <laughs> so we're gonna go into this one and with this one i only do two coats and it it's beautiful on its own it's beautiful underneath lashes and the formula is such long lasting i literally use this mascara for 10 hours i did my mark my markup <laughs> my makeup early in the morning and literally by the time i went to take off my makeup it was still in perfect lashy paradise <laughs> and that day i did not even have lashes it was just only mascara and when i'm only using mascara i do two coats when I use lashes, I use one. So let's go ahead and do this side. So you guys, we're going to go in with my Ioni lashes. And these babies, you need them in your life, you guys. These are 3D false mink lashes. And look at that beautiful pop of orangey in there. They are absolutely one of a kind. My favorites so far, just by staring at them, I was like these need to be on my eyes asap can you see it's like an orangey i'm so excited so yeah that's why we went into this color scheme over here to get into the fall and autumn vibes so for applying lashes you can see how it's a little bit more tapered on the outers and in the inside in the middle it looks more full so you can just go ahead and place these right on i don't feel the need to snip them at all if they do fit a little bit bigger than your actual eye shape i do recommend to snip a small piece of the ends you only want to do it from the ends and not from the inside because then your lashes won't look good they won't look good and they can absolutely like fall apart um and that goes with any type of lashes whether you have it from the drugstore or the high-end ones like they they will typically fall apart or be damaged so you don't want that so in my in my experience you always want to do it from the outer side if you need to if you can just place this on your lash line and there's no complication like this one i can move it up a little bit okay see so right here it's a perfect length for an example right so let's go ahead like i said i'm not trimming them i'm gonna show you again that's how they look so gorgeous and i'm going to just get my glue this is from aoa studios and we're just going to apply some to my lash band you guys these lashes are everything if you have a local 99 cent store or dollar tree in your area you need these asap this is perfect for all year around now we're getting into the autumn fall months like where the halloween comes around and you want something nice and cute something orangey yet classic this is perfect honey this can be used 
any time of the year but it's more perfect in this time of season so yes it just makes me want to go get like a pumpkin latte or something or like a muffin um and have a cardigan <laughs> put on a cardigan eat some turkey no <laughs> let me stop okay so mm -hmm, yes honey and my strategy to get a perfect lash application is to always 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 use these two fingers here and press your lashes into the falsies you kind of want to pinch them together but in a soft gentle motion press them and pinch them together that way they're one you see how you don't see any hairs poking through you see on both sides honey so if you're able to get on in there go ahead and do it sometimes yeah you will get dirty but wipe it off and wipe it off and keep going because we're here to have ourselves and our spirits lifted and gorgeous gorgeous happy vibes over here like i don't even have foundation or nothing yet and i'm already feeling like a baddie okay <laughs> so let's get in to foundation and we're going to use my pixie by petra beauty balm i have the shade nude and this is a medium to full coverage buildable beauty balm aka foundation and you can also wear this as a skin tint which you can just apply a little bit and you can absolutely use your fingers this beauty balm from pixie by petra is the most smooth medium to full coverage at the drugstore honey you can find pixie by petra on target pixiebypetra.com and also inside your local ulta um from time to time i do find pixie by petra at tj maxx and marshall's and burlington so if you want to try out some goodies on a more affordable approach go ahead and go to those drugstores and also i have a link with pixie by petra i will leave that link down below it is a referral link and i will receive some points and i'm not affiliated but one day i hope to be honey and i really appreciate your guys's love and support thank you for always giving me your best like literally you guys give me your best on the day-to-day -day. um and i just appreciate you guys so much and i know you guys deeply i know you guys really do support me and i honestly do makeup and beauty stuff to get over my anxiety and depression also i love reviewing beauty products and unboxings um and all things beauty i love giving back to you guys that's why i do giveaways and stuff and i just love to be a part of a community where we all love and have the same passions and be understanding and helpful towards each other like if any of you have any questions or is dealing with anything you guys can absolutely reach out to me and absolutely reach out to each other i mean that's what this community is for it's for reaching out to each other and extending that olive branch of friendship please definitely get your hands on this beauty bomb it's everything literally everything this is how the beauty bomb is looking and it's not cakey whatsoever it does not crease on me um i do have dry sensitive skin i like to always say that in each of my videos um i don't feel like it creases on me it doesn't feel heavy at all this is the most flattering balm foundation balm i have in my collection and it's just so beautiful and like i said flattering to me and if you are looking for a product like this definitely check out Pixie by Petra and they have such beautiful quality makeup and skincare. 
What are your thoughts and opinions so far of this video? Do you think the eyelashes are pretty? What about the eye gloss, the liner, the brows, the balm, the beauty balm from Pixie? I just love everything is coming through. So pretty. We're not going to set the face because we're going to do some cream blush and we're going to do concealer. So we're going to grab my Dominique Cosmetics Wide Awake Concealer. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, sometimes I got a feeling. Yeah, yeah. I got a feeling that I never, never knew. No, I have before. So, so. I got a feeling. Oh, sometimes I lose my concealer. Yay, yay. I always lose my concealer to the sealer, and I don't know why, why, why. I just lose it, lose it, lose it. Oh, my concealer is lost. Oh, whoa. Well. My concealer is nowhere, nowhere, nowhere to be found, found, found. So in the shade Frappuccino, we're going to use the Wide Awake Concealer. And again, this tip is everything. We're going to go ahead and put some here. Let's go ahead and show you that concealer up and close. I'm really enjoying my Dominique Cosmetics blush. This one right here is the cream blush in the shade Warm Peach. And I'm totally obsessed with this peachy warm blush over here. And the shade is absolutely perfect. It's so soft and creamy. How it looks. You can use this every single day. It's more on the natural side, but it's so pigmented when you build it up that it's just so beautiful. And I love it when you can build up something to get it to where you really want it, especially if you're doing more of a glamorous look. In this case, we're doing a fall and autumn look and we want these peachy orangey vibes over here. So we're gonna go in with the beauty sponge and we're gonna grab we're going to grab some of this and I typically pat it on the back of my hand. Just We're going to start from up here and bring it downwards in a small diangular motions and we're tapping this. So we are tapping it. Do you see that beautiful warm peach? you need this blush in your life you guys in the shade warm peach she does have two other shades and i want to pick those up asap we're gonna go in with setting powder we're gonna set everything we're gonna use my dominique cosmetics this is the wide awake translucent setting powder and this is a really nice and soft lightweight powder that does not have any flashback when you use flash on your camera I'm gonna pick up this brush from Hank and Henry. It's a powder brush in the style Sandra. And we're gonna pick up some of this powder from Dominique. And first we're gonna dust it under the eyes. Hey okay guys, that's looking good. We're gonna go all around the face and set everything. to go in with the Ofra Cosmetics. This is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Miami Fever and it's the most gorgeous burnt orange lip shade and I love Ofra so much. I love their highlighters, their bronzers. We're going to go ahead and swatch this for you. Their liquid lipsticks are everything and I think this is a perfect shade to use for this makeup look yeah it's perfect so we're gonna go ahead and use this i'm not going to line my lips because i typically use 
the top point of the doe foot to go ahead and line and then fill in and then we will use some gloss after it glides on so beautifully i am i'm loving loving these orangey vibes This formula is so lightweight and it's a comfortable matte formula. So once you have this on, it does not come off, honey. It's smudge proof and kiss proof, eating proof, all that kind of proof. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions so far. And does this color look pretty on me? I love it so much and this is the closest <laughs> that I'm going to get to from wearing like a shade out of my comfort zone i love this color on me and i think if you have struggled in the past with lip colors definitely give this one from ofra a chance this one is so gorgeous you guys it's absolutely stunning i'm going to use the supreme gloss by jeffree star this one right here is in the shade orange county so we're going to use this on top and are you ready for this? Dun 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 So juicy. I love this applicator. It's so unique and it just looks scrumptious. Like this looks so scrumptious. Ooh. put some eyeshadow in my waterline i'm gonna grab this shade right here at the corner and we're gonna put a little bit at the waterline i'm gonna find that small detail brush again from unit yeah this one is the unit 310 and we're gonna get into that shade right here and literally dip in there and we're gonna get my mirror from AOA Studios. Check them out in my link down below. And we're gonna put some right here. Last but not least, we're gonna set the face with the Pixie and Hello Kitty. This is the Makeup Fixing Mist. And we're gonna mist this all over. I just love, love, love hello kitty and pixie and this collab is so beautiful and cute we're gonna go ahead and put some on the face here to set the makeup yes it feels so so good There's so many great products that I use in this video and I am so happy I was able to sit down and create this look for you guys. If you want to recreate this, I definitely would love to see a picture. So definitely if you do tag me, it could be anywhere on social media, you just tag me. Jenny underscore beauty reviews is where you can tag me and also if you haven't followed me yet, what are you doing, girl? Go ahead and follow me. Finish this look, I'm going to fix my hair a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use this dry bar spray. This is the Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant, and I'm just gonna shake it a little bit, and... I love this so much and you see how my hair looked so frizzy not anymore babes and with this product your hair feels so lightweight like look there's no crunchy um, and I do need a little bit more because it's still kind of frizzy towards the ends and the back just fix my hair whenever I do my makeup just because I want that look yeah this is the created look. 
this is the finished created look you guys i am so happy with everything and how it turned out i am so 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 happy i tried out these new products and tried out other products for my collection so yeah you guys this is the end of my video i hope you enjoyed watching it was a little bit of a longer one but that's totally expected when i'm very talkative and taking breaks in between um would you wear this lip color? I think it's absolutely gorgeous and something that I don't do often. So once in a while, it's absolutely beautiful and just something that gets me out of my comfort zone. The lashes really gave me this inspiration and the eye gloss, the peachy blush, the lippies, the eyes. It looks all very gorgeous i love this so much and that's it i hope you have a beautiful blessed day hit that red subscribe button it's down below that way you're a part of my family and right next to it there's a little bell post notification you want to click that as well leave me some sweet comments down below it's greatly appreciated and give this a huge thumbs up don't forget you are able to share my content on any platform social medias i definitely appreciate you guys and love you guys for your love and support you guys are so amazing and i wouldn't i wouldn't do this if it wasn't for you like literally i wake up looking forward to making videos and i'm on my day off so it was a more perfect time to spend time with you guys and do some makeup and i know a lot of you were excited for this look so here you have it let me know how does everything look if you decide to recreate this look or purchase any of the items I suggested for you, definitely let me know in a sweet comment or also tag me in your pictures if you decide to recreate this. I love to see your pictures, your thoughts and opinions, and we'll be chatting in the comments down below. So I hope you have a beautiful best day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Love you!